and on this day. Uh huh. I'm loving this. So, um, I've got some news. I, I got some news for you. Hold on, boo boo. Boo! Well, this is the way I live. It is what it is. Don't you like the new cutting all the dead time out? I kind of got a new interest in the shit. Hold on. Uh, I got something to show you. I got something I want you to hear. Let me make sure this has got... I'm turning this on. I'm fixing to throw away my uh, Kindle, my Amazon thing. So, hold on. All I gotta say. Throw these down in my. I mean to be throwing these down in my um, bug out. I'm just gonna blend that. I'll be back when I get done. You don't want to hear that obnoxious. Just quickly, I'm gonna have me some stewed vegetables tonight out of my garden. Let's rock and roll. That is still very revel, rev, relevant. That right there. That is um, Haitian President Joven Mas, Mace killed just in the last week or two. Tasmanian President John Magafui dies of a heart condition. Madagascar President Ditter Ditter Rat Rat Sirac. Cause of death unknown. The article that I saw. Um, all three of these gentlemen had more than this in common, but there's three things we know they had in common. They were all leaders of countries that did not lock down for COVID and are not allowing the vaccinations to go into their countries. These three gentlemen are now expired. They are no longer with us. They are patriots to this planet. They are patriots to the planet, to mankind, to human beings, whatever we are. What if, sons of, are we sons of Adam? I don't know. But these people are patriots. I don't care if they're pink or purple. I hope you get my drift. Okay. Okay, guys. Remember, I was just speaking on these three leaders. I went onto my YouTube or my um, Facebook account and pulled up a video that I just shared with you guys. You're not getting it on the feeds, I don't think, but it's off my Facebook. Oh, damn. Can you see her? Can you see this? Can you see that? Okay. Let's listen to it. Again, Los Angeles County reimposes indoor mask mandate regardless of vaccination status. Los Angeles on Thursday announced it's reimposing its indoor Sorry. mask mandate regardless of regardless. Uh, there were three heads of three countries that um, are no longer with us. And... Uh, they are Haitian President Jovenel Moise, who was murdered a week ago, over a week ago. Tanzania head John Malagufi, who was also against the jabs, March, died March 2021. 
this since we're going into the Intel section. Let's start with this. It's juicy. Okay. Here we go. Trump, if I was going to do a coup, it wouldn't have been with General Mark Milley. <laughs> One of the corrupt generals, former President Trump, pushed back on claim that Joint Chief of Staff Chairman Mark Milley was um, chairman was concerned he would start a coup in the White House. President slammed the suggestion and his signature bombastic fresh. I never threatened or spoke to anyone. A coup of our government, Trump said in a statement, emailed to reporters that repeated his claims. Disputed by the courts and state officials of both parties across the country. So ridiculous. Sergeant She's reading from you, the, uh, but the election the pundit, is, um, uh, yeah. The <laughs> and if pundit. I was going to do a coup, one of the last people I would do it with is General Montmelia. Yeah. Disgrace, pundit, disgrace, disgrace. All right. Okay, so here we go. We have to go to this. What's going on here? Let's take a look here. We have America war zone, American ballistic missile submarine makes rare stop in Gibraltar. You know what happened in Gibraltar? 53 dead from, yeah. Yes. Yes, it was um, a little bit like this. 53 dead from this. Okay, there we go. So why are they visiting this place? Um, the Ohio Classic Ballistic Missile Submarine, USS Alaska, made very unusual stop in British overseas territory. The Navy took an unusual step of publicly announcing the submarine's arrival there today. Yeah. Um, string of curiosity, public movements of members of U Navy's fleet, boomer fleet, which typically conduct their deterrent patrols loaded with nuclear arm trident ballistic missiles. Did I tell you a while ago, I, I told you this information about um, a month ago, over a month ago, now a month and a half ago, that um, after they had the blackout in Pearl Harbor, the Navy was deploying from Chicago, Seattle, uh, Los Angeles, um, were all ports, uh, New York. Uh, yeah, they were deploying. So, yes, is this part of it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll be right back. I'm going to end this one because I want to listen to it, make sure the air didn't uh, cut you out. Live long and prosper, my people. Nanu, nanu.